Hey everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and I'm going to make a really quick video about addiction and uh, relief from addiction because what I hear in what inspired me to make this video is like people who call like cooked food an addiction and in the past I did too and to a degree I may still but I was going to say like everything is an addiction. You, I don't want to single any person out like me oh I'm addicted oh you are addicted or I don't want to single like a thing out you, oh you or me are addicted to this or to that because what happens then psychologically everybody is we start picking we create higher division and hierarchy and we create heaviness and such an intensity of seriousness like you're addicted to this drug, you're addicted to this substance, you're addicted to that habit, you're addicted to... So what happens is people stop having fun in life and become so heavy instead of light-hearted. So what I'd really like to people... Is, and then we become snobs and judging people or ourselves if we start going on about addiction too much or we start identifying as an addict. Because I see a lot of like raw foodists or people like say cooked food is an addiction and then people start thinking or feeling like tense about the topic like they start watching each other like you're addic look what you're addicted to and they mightn't even say look what you're addicted to but they're thinking about it and it creates a whole lot of trouble in our in our own energy field so what i want to say is we're all addicted to something at least or um no one's addicted to anything so like you could even say like raw food in general is an addict compared to a breatharian like because generally people feel better when on juices or even like when children are on baby milk for example but you really want to start going into all this in too much detail like if you do go ahead but just be light-hearted and enjoy this whole topic everyone don't be creating a division between you and them or getting like really judgmental and resistant because when you get resistant then you create friction in your energy field um, if you want to have a higher vibration, be happier in life, you got to get more light-hearted about stuff. Sure, you can recognize the seriousness of topics to a degree, but just don't create the division or the identification like me, them, this, that, um, too heavily or strong, like cement, like 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 a big cement covering you and stopping your joy in life. Here's my suggestion. Stop the divisions, and if you want to change a habit or a pattern in your life, work on emotional healing and mental healing like mental like the buddha what you think you become what you think about you bring about thought becomes things and what you envision you can create so what thoughts are, are emotion creators emotions are, are hold a very strong vibrational force they're created by thoughts so in my life this has been true as i've raised as i've healed my mind and my thoughts and my emotions from the trauma in the past i've been able to switch my my habits and patterns or if you call it addictive behaviors if you feel like it but never say like never think you're better than another person they're addicted like don't be watching people or watching yourself too much life's short we didn't come here to be perfect and who is perfect anyway on the planet nobody like you want to be happy and joyful sure i've identified through my own experience what makes me feel better emotionally and high vibrational Okay, and that's like a mixture of physical things and mental things make my emotional well-being. But don't be going around judging and looking and like being resistant and snobby about other people, generally speaking, for sure, you know. So obviously we're just all doing our best. And we need to take the pressure off ourselves and find relief in order to change ourselves. So if you want to stop a pattern, be happy and joyful and change with ease, grace and harmony and enjoyment. Remember? Ease, grace, harmony and enjoyment. So if you want to make a change in your diet or your lifestyle or a relationship, do it from ease, grace, enjoyment and harmony. Try live in that space of happiness and joy. Life's too short not to be happy and joyful. So just watch your thoughts and look at your triggers and your perceptions and beliefs your ingrained patterns and programming from the past that make you feel emotionally uptight and screwed up see if you can let them go and you'll be so much happier in life have fun climb a tree take a deep breath <sighs> take a deep breath just relax I gotta go in a minute, okay? 
But uh, Malachi says hi on. Nina says no separation because one love. Hi Malachi. Hey everyone watching, loads of love to you. It's like, so yeah, don't be too serious at anyone. Just reach for better better thoughts to feel good. And make make change from accepting and loving where you are right now here. And then go on to something new for the fun of it and the higher, the different feeling, feels good, enjoyment. And if you go back again, okay, don't beat yourself up better. Find a thought that's sweet, sweet and easeful, graceful. So let's have love and compassion on ourselves and each other. And we can do this, everyone. We are doing it. We seriously can do this. We're all on our paths. There's no, there's no, you can't get it wrong and you can never get it done. It's a continuous forward moving journey of learning and experiencing. And as we experience, we learn because we learn what we don't want and we learn what we do want. And as we learn from every experience what we do want and don't want more, what we do want is created in a field of what our soul wants to experience more. So we're getting ready to receive it. In the moment, in the moment of even experiencing what we don't want, we're getting ready to receive what we do want, but we just have to get out of the way and then by letting go of the resistance and learning the lessons, basically speaking. And it's lovely, everyone. Life is lovely. We don't have to get serious about it. Things are coming our way, they're really good things. And we can actually get really excited about the good things before they manifest physically in our life and feel it vibrationally and emotionally. Gratitude before it comes. That's powerful manifester. It's deep and it's real and I've done this this year. Get into the, feel the vibration before it physically manifests. Feel the joy before you get it physically. And then even if you don't get it physically or before it comes physically, you're feeling it first. And when you feel it without needing it physically, what difference does it really make deep down to you if it doesn't come physically? Because you're feeling the, the joy and the gratitude and the love of life. You're feeling the vibration of abundance. You're tuning your frequency into love, joy and gratitude and appreciation and abundance. Focusing on what you have. Not focusing on what's missing or what you don't have. Focus on what you have. Yeah, Nina says a beautiful sky. It's a lovely sky, all right? M Amari says, lots of love, my friend. Thanks, Amari. So, there you go, everyone. That's how you can change addictive or patterns or programming and anything. That's how you can invite in the new and let go of the old. It's not a forceful, masculine, piercing forcefulness. It's a graceful, loving, appreciative, compassionate, letting go and opening up to receive the new without trying to pull it to you. You're letting it come. You're opening your doors. It's sweet. So enjoy the process of healing and growing. Enjoy the process of discovering your emotional wounds and programming. Don't be too hard on yourself. Life is much simpler than we, may, than we think, than we make it out to be. So let your inner child loose, get out in nature, have fun, do whatever you find fun and enjoyable. And uh, you can't fail and you can't get it wrong and it never ends. So you're always going to be opening up to new desires and new heart wishes as you experience life. And you can't escape that. That's like, that's step one. Step two is like basically allowing through thinking carefully and tuning your vibration, tuning your thoughts and your emotions into a certain feeling. And then as you do this, synchronicities will occur and magic will sort of happen. And you'll be aligned at the right place, at the right time, at the right people. And these so-called opportunities and coincidences will happen to you. So yeah, that's it. Uh, so let go of all heaviness regarding all the topics and seek an enjoyable going forward. All right, everyone. Lots of love to you. Don't forget to get out in nature and enjoy yourself. And Water, trees, essential oil, fresh air, sun, beach, barefoot walking, or just walking, hills, mountains, forests, lakes, rivers, children, plants, flowers, animals, dogs, cats, pets, friends, family, all these beautiful blessings. Life's a gift and uh, it's so beautiful. Thanks for watching, Gavin. I'll, uh, I wish you a happy Christmas. We're getting up to Christmas now. It's a, it's a lovely season. And that's another topic so many people are heavy about. They're just thinking all weird stuff about it. Christmas is beautiful. It's like just people... You don't have to focus on the commerciality of it. Focus on the children smiling and the excitement of the reindeers and 
think about the lights, the decorations, and the festive jolliness, and the people thinking about each other more, you know, thinking about their their relatives or their their family and buying a card or presents, writing something beautiful and sweet. So maybe you can do that if you want. Well, you probably already are. <laughs> and then you can tell me about it. <laughs> I'd love to hear. <laughs> See everyone, lots of love. It's been my pleasure and joy to share this video. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.